Welcome back to another review. Um, today I'm going to be looking at the Element 952V tactical flashlight and focus on some of the different offset plates that you can get to mount it. Um, so quickly, I know there's been reviews of this flashlight in the past. I'm just going to go over some of uh, just the basic features of it so that you get a better understanding of that and then we'll take a closer look at some of the mounts that you can get with it. So what I have uh, in the camera view right now is this is the original base plate that it came with. It's a quick lever. Comes with that, already attached to it. Comes with an Allen key, comes with a pressure switch, and it comes with the flashlight itself. So I already have it all disattached right now because I wanted to show some of the other mounts. All right, so this flashlight is pretty basic. Um, it is for Airsoft. This is a replica of a Surefire. Um, as you can tell, it says white and IR. This does not have IR capability, um, but it does have some pretty cool features. And it's pretty bright. For an Airsoft flashlight, I find that Element products or flashlights are pretty good. So at the back here, we got pressure switch, some switch. Let's you turn it on. As mentioned, it comes with pressure switch and if you saw my previous uh, video about I was having a problem getting this off it's because the originals used to be able to unscrew them this one just plugs in I like that um, if you're having problems with getting that off just grip it really hard and pull as hard as you can make sure it's not on the rifle when you do that and plug it back in and do that a couple times in and out just to loosen it up because now I can get mine unattached no issues so that's the pressure switch and that allows you to turn it on and off. Um, as mentioned, it has two features here. They call it white and IR, but what it is is it's solid. So if I turn it on right now, it should be solid mode. Turn it off, and then you pull this ring out and twist it, and now it should be strobe. So it's got those two modes. Um, so basic flashlight. Um, something else I want to touch on is that when you get this in the packaging, uh, this Surefire logo will be like not as bright as it, it looks right now. It's because they put like, um, I don't know if it's Sharpie, but a black marker over it just to hide it. Uh, so for example, uh, on this base plate right now, you can see there is a logo underneath there, but you can't really read it. I took some Goo Gone and just wiped it up. So I just, I got a little bit of Goo Gone here and I'm going to just show you an example. So Goo Gone, I just put a little bit on a paper towel. And then right there where you see the logo, just rub it really hard. As you can see, Whatever they put on there is coming off and the logo is starting to appear better. Flip it over. So you have to do that for a little bit. But as you can see, just doing a little bit just there, you can see that the logo is starting to appear more. So I think that's a pretty cool feature, even though this is a replica, it's not a real Surefire, but you no, know, every little detail counts, so I was happy with that. So as mentioned, I wanted to take a closer look at some of the mounts. Um, I've tried different ones. So this one here is the EX289. It's a tactical offset mount, scout mount, they call it. Uh, it's just basic. Um, when it comes in the packaging, it won't be all scraped up like this. I was having an issue with my Mad Bull rail being oversized. Um, and I can just show that that was an issue of the rail itself and not of this piece. See, this slides on perfect. This is a proper, this is actually from a gun store. So this is actually two spec. So this one, like I said, just a basic scout mount. Um, attach it to your rifle and then you got the angle so that brings it closer into the rifle 
And also because of the type of rail I had, I wanted my flashlight up a little bit further so I didn't get that shadow um, from the barrel. So I started with this and I was like, eh, I like it. Um, I tried to order a different one off of eBay, it didn't come. So I went through eHobby Asia and I bought this one. Uh, I like dealing with them. They send their packages uh, registered. So I'm always guaranteed to get it. So that was the first one that I bought. Um, you can get it in tan and other colors. It's made of aluminum, 55 millimeters long. And it works with other flashlights as well. So this is the, I have the 952V. It also works with the 951 and the 961. Um, for some strange reason, they don't say that it works with the 952V, but all three of those flashlights use the same mount. So that was one type of mount. And then I finally said, okay, I don't like that. I want the quick detach, which the original had, which I really didn't like this one because it's a little bulky and it's straight. It's on the side. It's getting in the way of my hand. So I got this one. And this one is the EX327. This is all made by Element. This one here is got the LaRue uh, quick detach lever on it. Um, these all come with screws in them. And I will get into that a little bit closer in a little bit here. Um, one thing that I was a little bit surprised about, they all come with an Allen key, but it didn't come with the wrench. Fortunately, um, since I had uh, basically a LaRue mount on my aim point, I had a wrench. So this here tightens up your base plate to fit on the rail. So now that I'm using this one, I don't have that issue of the Mad Bull rail being oversized by a bit. And this one works perfectly fine. So, yeah. Very lightweight, aluminum again, 55 millimeters, comes in black, tan. Um, I think those are the two primary colors that they do for just their items. So as mentioned, they all come with screws. And just so people know, each set of screws is actually different for each mounting plate. So the original mounting plate has a very short screw. So if you like take it apart and then you try to reuse the same screws with one of these plates, it's not going to work. It's too short. Um, just so you can see, this one's a little bit longer. So you need to use the ones that come with the plate and you'll be fine then. So just wanted to note that. So mounting them, and I don't use this one anymore. I don't use the other one. My favorite is this one. I really like this one. So I'll make sure I get it on the right side. I want this. So mounting is very easily. Just two Allen screws in the bottom. So they're very easy to attach, doesn't take that long. As mentioned, now I have the quick detach for the rifle itself, which I really like. So just give me a second here. I'm just gonna pause the video for a second and then I'm onto the rifle so you get a general idea of what it looks like with the offset. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so with the offset mount, as mentioned, I use the top section of my rail now. It brings it forward a little bit more. Before I used to have, this was in the way, so I had uh, my flashlight back here. I want my flashlight forward more. And I got the pressure switch in. Um, this doesn't come with it, but that's my Manta um, rail mount for my pressure switch. Quick lever, as you can see, I'm having no problems. Uh, let me hold on to this like this. Let's see, no jiggle. Brings it up pretty far. Just a view this way, so you can see the offset. So I think that looks pretty good. So as mentioned, I just wanted to show some of the different offset uh, mount rails that you can get with it. Um, 
if you have a longer barrel and you're worried about shadow, then put this down. And you're worried about like shadow. See, I have a shorter barrel here, so it doesn't really matter. And this is still a pretty good distance, so I don't get that shadow. Then there is other types of mounts as well. Um, I haven't seen them, but with other flashlights, uh, where the angle is actually the opposite, it raises it up higher. This is the offset mount to bring it in closer. There is offset mounts that raise it. Um, I prefer mine closer in, but uh, thank you for your time. I'm hoping everybody's having a great week and uh, thanks for watching my videos. If you have any questions, uh, let me know below in the comments and have a great day.